diamonds shine like the stars. Uh, and that's why you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from today's title, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to be talking to you about what to do and what not to do at uni. Because I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but when I first was like coming to uni, there wasn't a lot of like information or content on YouTube about what to expect and what not to expect. Obviously, you're just thinking news going to be lit, blah, 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 blah. But in real life, is it really? Do you know what I mean? Right. Tip number one, make friends. There is no point of coming to uni and if you're antisocial now, bringing this antisocial behavior because no one wants it. No one wants to be around like negative people. So come with the intention of making friends. But obviously there's also a thing where too many friends at the start can also be bad. But tip number one, come to uni, ready to make new friends, socialize. Once you move into your accommodation, wherever you're staying, Knock on people's doors, be like, okay, don't be knocking on the next man's door in it, but knock on people that you live with doors and just be like, hi, I'm so, 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 so nice to meet you. I'm from here, here, here. If you want to talk or if you want to go out tonight, I'm free. Do you know what I mean? Socialize. Make friends, socialize. That's what uni is about. Do you know what I mean? Live your best life. Oh my gosh. Just think about this way. You're away from home, yeah? You might have been on lockdown. You might have been just wasn't really like sociable type of thing. Live your best life. Everybody say yeah. Yeah. Live your best life, all right? All right, because that's what we're here for, okay? <laughs> so this is for all you religious people. If you know that back home, you used to go to church 24 seven, or you went to church the weekly Sunday team, why would you stop because you're at uni? Who are you stunting for, do you know what I mean? Like, if you honestly want to go to church, but you know that your friends aren't on it, or your flatmates aren't on it, Okay, bun them, what the hell? Go to church regularly. It's just like, if you're religious at home, why are you gonna switch up because you're in a new place? Because sooner or later, you're gonna go back home, do you know what I mean? So I think that's very important for like, your well-being as well. I can't stress this enough. If you miss a lecture right at the beginning, catch up, nah. You don't understand yet. In your head, you're thinking, oh, like, so I'll catch up tomorrow. Oh, I'll catch up Friday. Like, Saturdays, I'm not doing anything, I'll catch up. This catch up will never actually end up being caught up on. I'm telling you, I've said that for free. Before you know it, it's March and you're hearing there's exams around the corner. Lectures from 10,000 years ago I haven't even caught up on. What am I doing? I don't want to hear pin, but I don't want to hear Jackie didn't warn you because I've done told you. Do you know what I mean? So catch up on lectures. Do come to uni confident. The worst thing is to come all shy and timid because you're going to be around so many different people, people might be acting up, people actually might be the shy ones, but they're acting confident. And if you're shy and you can't like speak up and stuff, because you'll be like, um, you'll go through like certain things where you're gonna have to speak up, I don't know, whether it's presentation or peer pressure or whatever, you need to be a confident person. So come to you need confident, not too overconfident where you think you're better than everyone else because you'll get drawn out. But come to uni with like a sense of, yeah, like I'm excited, I'm ready. Do you know what I mean? Like, just guys, do not, uh, do not come to uni acting brand new. I said this in like one of my other videos. Don't come to uni pretending to be someone you're not because let's remember that one, you're going back home at some point. You're not living at uni for three years for the rest of your life. You're going home half terms, reading week. So don't act brand new. People at uni know who you are. I can guarantee, even if you're not, you don't come to uni with someone you know, somewhere along the line, someone's cousin, aunt, cousin, dog, cat, something, duh, knows you, do you get it? So don't act like you're different nicer. Don't come to uni like, obviously oh, my mum's got like a big yard, I've got like a Mercedes GLA, like la la la. Don't come up with a different storyline, different, keep the same energy because it's not, it's not cool, like, do you understand? You're not, you're not any, you're not better than anyone else, you get it, it's all pattern, do you know what I mean? Do not come to uni to chat like a man. No one says come to uni to find a husband. Don't do it, don't come to act in front, like, act all black, something, 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 in front of a man then, we're not doing that. <laughs> don't be hee hee hiring when boys are talking, just so that you get their attention. Don't come to uni if you think you're gonna find a man, because that's not what uni's for, you came for education, do you get it? Soul pattern, we're not doing that. Obviously, if the sweet one's feeling, the sweet one's feeling, you feel me, but to have the intention that I'm coming to uni to find a husband is false, and I think it's only banter. If you take it seriously, then sis, what are you doing? Pressure. 
I, I've never experienced it, I can't lie to you, because I'm surrounded by good people, but you might not be so lucky as, like me, to be surrounded by good people, so you might be put under certain circumstances where you, you're under pressure, I don't know, to smoke, to drink, to do something mad, don't. Do not come to uni and be influenced by other people. No, 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 we don't want anyone under pressure you know if you don't drink don't let don't force anyone else to drink you know if you don't smoke yourself don't let anyone else smoke do not <coughs> girl them or man them of the opposite sex as in why are you beefing your friend over man why are you even your one of your boys over a girl especially in first year like you're gonna meet so many different people why are you arguing over other people, like, why is it necessary? Like, oh, don't come to you thinking, I'm gonna beef you over a girl that probably won't even remember your name in a couple months. Guys, I feel like there's a big thing where people trust people too quickly. For example, you've just, I don't know, new flatmate or someone who came from ends with to uni and they've got a new friendship group and like, everyone's becoming friends, everything's going well, freshers was cool. We're in like February, March now and you're trusting them way too much, as in you're telling them, too much information even in like october times when you just fresh touch uni yeah do not be telling people this and this and this and this 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 and this and this and this it's it's no don't be trusting people like you trust people back in ends because they are not your friends you don't really know them you probably don't even know my last name you probably don't even know my birthday from the period of september to december what are you doing how can you trust someone you don't even know if they have a cat or a dog back in there bye see ya no no don't come to uni and <laughs> you have no, no one's forcing you, yeah, as in no one is forcing you to give money to people. You don't, you're not a bank. People shouldn't be coming to you saying, oh, bust me like 10 pounds, bust me like 20 pounds. It's a thing where, yeah, obviously if they're your friend, you're, they're your G or they're from your family from ends and they need like 10 pounds and you know they're going to pay you back. One time, cool. But constant... Oh, can you lend me like we're all struggling we're eating bread we're drinking water we're going to sleep hungry so i don't feel like anyone ha is obliged i can't say the word obliged you know what i'm trying to say i don't think anyone is like called for to be um asking people for money to be giving money to people and the thing is yeah you sh you yourself should know are they really going to give me the money back if they're not, then why are you going to give them money in the first place? Like, don't be lending money to just anyone and don't be lending large sums of money. £10, cool, can let slide. If someone asks for £50, you give it to them and you know you're going to get back, you're an idiot. People are now asking you as if you are Halifax or Zantan. We're not doing that. Yeah, guys, I know, like, you might think, oh, this is obvious or like, I'd never do that. You don't know what you do when you get to uni. I can't lie to you. You don't know who you're going to be around, the surroundings, the atmosphere, the financial situation you never know like even your mental mindset like you don't know what's gonna happen so just obviously before you go to uni watch this video again if you need to share this video with anyone that you might think is nervous about starting uni like uni is fun i don't know if i've made it seem something like mad but uni is honestly fun and depending on the uni you go to and who you're around you will have such a good time obviously i'm only in first year so i haven't actually experienced the, the stress I'm about to go through, I already know how the things set. But like, so far uni is good, so like, I don't mean to scare you anything, but this is just like tips that you need to know, and hopefully I've been very, very useful to you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, smash a huge thumbs up, comment below any more video ideas, turn on post notifications so you can see when your girl uploads, and continue subscribing. Um, yeah, that's the end of the video, and I'll be back very soon for a brand new one. Mwah. Bye guys! Diamonds shine like the stars, uh, and that's why young niggas came through flexing.